there. Hello. Meow, meow. Hey, you look like a nice kitty. Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to be grooming this cat. Now, I've never groomed him before. It's my first time. And I'm just going to go through the process. I don't know how the cat's going to be. If it's going to be good, struggling. I, I, I don't know. So I thought I would share it with um, everyone. And yes, cats do need to be groomed. Um, cats lick themselves. They don't groom themselves. They just put saliva all over their body. So especially long-haired cats, actually any cat needs to be groomed. You have to get out the undercoat, you know, give them a good um, combing, a good bathing to clean that hair. You can see how it's all separated. You give them a good uh, comb out to separate those hairs and make them nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna take them out and we'll see what the kitty does. Now the first thing I do is assess the cat um, to see whether or not I'll be able to groom the cat. Now this one's um, only gonna get a bath and a, a blow dry. So it looks pretty okay, it looks pretty calm. It's coming, it's not hissing or growling, it's coming to the front. So I'm gonna open the door and what I do is I grab him by the scruff just to see how he does. Hopefully he'll come out on his own. Okay, oh there we go, okay. Uh, always make sure you grab the cat because you never know what will happen. Then anyone you pull it out like this. Get the towel back in there. Alrighty then. Let me just move my camera back. Hi buddy. Alright. Always keep your hand away from the teeth. Give it a good feel. See if there's any mats. I go right under the tummy just to assess the problem there. Actually, this cat is in really good shape. So I'm just gonna put him back inside, if he'll go in, just so I can get everything ready. Okay, so you wanna make sure you have everything ready ahead of time. You wanna get the towels ready on the table here, one for the cat to lie on. You can wrap them up if you need to, and one, you know, extra one to wrap them up or dry them with. And make sure you have the shampoo ready, everything ready, because once you get a cat in your hands, you can't really, you know, let them go or let them loose or put them back. You gotta do it all at once. So I'm just gonna get him right out of there and he's gonna go right in the tub. Oh, you're a big kitty cat. Wow, big. Pretty clean too. Hi. All right, now, sometimes they hear the water um, running. They don't like it because they get scared. This is when you gotta be careful because they might reach out and scratch or bite. Always have a good hold on them. You gotta be quick. And usually when you wet a cat, they kind of settle down. I'll just give it a try. Alrighty then. And sometimes if the cat you find is you know, gonna be difficult or, or reaching out to scratch you, you can cut the nails first which is a lot safer, but in this case I chose to cut the nails afterwards. So I went him down, it's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add the shampoo. I'm just gonna use my regular shampoo and then hopefully I can uh, use the Chubbs bar right after this. I like to use the shampoo first because it's quick and I can just you know, get it out of the bottle there. There you go, buddy. You have to be pretty quick with a cat. Oh, he did some peeing. That's okay. It's good to pee in the tub. It's better to pee in the tub than it is to pee on the table, right? Mm-hmm. Still peeing? Yeah, I can smell it. I can smell it. A little bit more water. So this cat is more uh, more scared than you know, not vicious or anything like that. So always have to have a good hold on the scruff. There goes the urine. So if you're thinking of grooming cats in your salon, 
there's some really good cat courses out there. They can learn. I mean, I, I've been grooming cats forever and I thought I knew it all until I took this cat course. And uh, I learned a lot of different um, techniques and how to handle them and how to read them. Helped me a lot. Okay, I'm glad my son is here to help me with the camera. I always hold the head away because he can go right for you and bite you. You gotta be really quick. And those claws, just watch out. Always watch. Always watch. Watch the behavior. Some cats freak out and they climb the walls. That's not fun. When you're really good, it's fun. Alright, kitty, kitty, kitty. You're gonna look really good when you're done. This works really good on greasy coats. This coat isn't really greasy, but it cleans cats really really well mm -hmm. here we go bud okay I just have to get I'm turn around Your belly yeah I think actually he's kind of enjoying it or no, we're just being compliant. He's just saying, okay, go ahead, do what you need to do. But if I let him go, I know he'll just fly right up to the ceiling there. We're almost done. Ah! Oh, we are. Yeah, you're going to feel good. Mm -hmm. ah! No, you are. You're going to feel really good. Let's turn around a little bit, buddy. Now cats, they can bend in a lot of ways. They're almost like a snake. So don't be afraid to move them around. They're not like dogs. I mean, they slither, you know, they... Like, ah! a, like a ferret. So even though it looks like he's bending every which way, he is bending, but I'm not obviously hurting him. Oh, watch out for my hand there. Let me get your tail. Okay, let me reach it from this angle. Ugh. Pretty heavy. Big cat. Ah! Mm -hmm. There we go. So I like to get a nice lathery lather on them to make them really clean. Okay. Now he's pretty much clean. I try to clean down to the paws. Mm -hmm. All the feet here. The tummy's done. Once they're all lathered up like this, nice and creamy, it's nice and clean. Okay, and the tail. Look at that stud tail, that greasy tail right here. You really want to scrub that in. But his tail seemed all right. Where are you going? Come back here. So there. Really lathered up. Now for the head. It's okay. It's okay. I know. For the head, I'm just going to use my hand. Oh, wipe that off on his nose. I like to clean the cheeks and the top of the head. There. And afterwards, I'm going to clean out the ears. Ah! Yeah, they look pretty clean now. So I would say he's pretty much washed. I know. He doesn't like the sound of the water. Usually it's a compliant cat that, uh, the shy cats, they don't like the water. The ones that are difficult to do kind of just stand still in the water. It's the other parts they don't like. I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay, I'm just gonna get a hold of this truck. down. Mm -hmm. Use my hand there. Just gonna lift them up, get the belly. Get the paws. I'm not gonna turn you around. Come on, let's go. Oh no no. I'm not going to let him go because I know I can feel him. He wants to jump. Oh, maybe I can move that tail like that. There we go. Alrighty then. So, I'm just going to get some water from the base of the tub there. Maybe a little bit. I can do this. No, no, don't be doing that. You don't want to swallow the water. Yeah. A little bit so okay okay I'm just gonna uh, fold his ears there I can get that off with the cloth later on there he's all washed alrighty there's your wet kitty cat just wrap him up a little bit soak some of that water off and then I will dry him. Now I should have had a bigger towel that I can just wrap around his whole body. I didn't have that. So I'll soak him up in this towel for a minute or two and then I'll start um, drying him. In case I was able to wrap him up in a towel pretty good, I'm just going to check his ears. They didn't look too dirty to me in the tub so I just cleaned them out. There's a little bit of dirt. There we go, nice clean ears, huh? Okay, so he doesn't have any front claws, I just checked. I would usually pull one foot out at a time. But now I'm gonna do the back nails because I know he probably has back nails, I usually do. So keep him wrapped up like that. Yes. Yep, <coughs> trying to get away. Okay, I got the nail, the one foot done. I'll do the other foot as well. Okay, so what I've done now is I just put him in a crate, uh, you know, for a few minutes. I'm going to put a dryer on him for a few minutes. I don't um, totally cage dry unless it's necessary. And I'm just going to let him uh, dry out here for like maybe five minutes. And put him on my table and see if he can uh, tolerate the high velocity dryer because it's great. It separates the hair and dries him quicker to the skin and I can see if, if there's any knots. So we'll, we'll give that a try and uh, in a few minutes. Okay, I'm going to try the high velocity right now. I don't know how it's going to go. I mean, he'll probably be scared at first and try, you know, jump around and everything. I'll start at the back and work my way up. But if I can't do the velocity, I'll dry him mostly in the cage and um, brush and comb in between. So let's give it a whirl. Hang on to them really good. This doesn't hurt, by the way. It's just loose skin and you're holding on to them uh, so they don't get away. It, it doesn't hurt at all. She's the noise they're afraid of.
to show you some ways you can actually help the little kitty overcome the dryer. You can use a hoodie. This is a hoodie. It just goes around the cat's head and it covers the ears. And you can actually even cover the eyes. And they just lay there and they sleep if you want to cover the eyes too. And they feel comfortable in here and they can hear the dryer. So this, this works uh, wonders, this, this hoodie. And if you don't have a hoodie, um, you can just wrap your towel. Make sure you can breathe and the nose is right here, see? You can wrap a towel around the ears. And if you got two people, someone can hold the head. You can dry the body. Or usually when you wrap up the ears like this, they don't go anywhere. <coughs> yeah, you still meow. They don't go anywhere, so you can continue on with the drying. <coughs> and sometimes you can't really get up close you know, to the head with that dryer. You can use the, the stand dryer um, to, to finish drying them. But once you got the body done and most of it done, they kind of let you allow to dry <coughs> up here and just use a low speed. So I'm gonna try this hoodie and I'm gonna dry them a little bit more. You have to dry, you have to make sure they're thoroughly dry because they get very matted. If you leave that wet and they go home like that, they, especially underneath and by the armpits, it gets curly and kinky and it gets matted. So cat's hair has to be dry. You don't want to leave it wet. It'll just cause problems, uh, matting, it won't look so good. So we're gonna continue on now. continue on with the belly. I'm just going to roll them over. Oopsie. There we go. Roll them right over on the side. So I'm going to dry the other side and dry under there in his tail. He's pretty much dry, but um, I'll show you at the end when I'm going to comb him out. You're almost done. Look how beautiful you look. Wow. So I just got to get the neck there. He's looking good. Okay, he's pretty much dry all over except for around the head, but this hoodie's probably soaked up a lot of the water up here. And I don't really you know, worry about the head too much. Usually it dries out by the time you finish combing them. They don't like the, you know, they're by the uh, ears, but I put it on really low. Sometimes you can get it all, but the head is one area I don't worry about too much, you see. I took a flying leap because I took the head, the hoodie off. All right, I'm just gonna dry the side here, not too. And then I'll comb them out. You never let go of a cat. You'll never, you'll never catch them again. Yeah, they go far. I remember I used to bring cats, and they would, they would climb the wall. They would hide. You couldn't even get them. Like they fly anywhere, right? Okay, so he's all washed. 
and he's not really matted so I'm just basically combing him out. You don't need to use a brush on a cat, just use a comb. Just how many knots. I did see a knot up on his um, ruff here earlier, which I'll, I think I just got out now. So you just make sure you give him a quick combing all over. Do as quick as you can. Come here, sweetie. Come on, turn around. Oh, always hang on to. You can hang on to his head like that. Just make sure they don't bite. Hi. No. Uh huh. It's a little bit wet there. I might try this dan dryer on his um his face. Like his little rough here right here but I think it should be okay it's just the under parts you don't want the the legs the groin like anything underneath wet they should be dry all over really but I mean if he's gonna freak out and you can't do the head area I wouldn't worry about that too much but look how nice and beautiful the coat looks remember in the beginning how it was separating the hair was separated because it was dirty Look how nice the coat looks. Doesn't have a lot of hair coming out. Nice and soft. Separated. Beautiful. I just gotta get the belly. You can always just lift them up. Oh, come here. Really? Just lift them up. And go my good. Nice belly you have. Nice and fluffy and get the groin as well if he'll let you get him on his side I think I just need to do a little bit more drying under the groin he just gave me a little bit of a hard time and uh, there you go so hopefully you like my video give me a thumbs up if you did and um, hope you learned something you can get into cat grooming they do need grooming and just remember the cats can move in a lot of ways they're almost like a weasel like a ferret like a snake there's a little knot so you really have to hang on to them I mean in this video I did not hurt this cat you know if it appeared like that it's not really because the cat has so many joints they're bending and twisting they're not it doesn't hurt them you got to really hang on to them Otherwise, they'd get away, could get hurt, right? Could get hurt somewhere, I don't know. They get stuck somewhere. And don't forget the tail. That's the worst part. Cats, cats hate having their tails combed. All right, so thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that bell icon. You can get my upload notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.